Hello, Philip DeFranco and the nation. Um, I want to tell you about ADHD. So I am from Vancouver, Canada. So hello, Canadians. Um, I have worked in the downtown east side. Not so much downtown, but I am in the east side where poverty and um, just many different things are not really well put together. Um, and I worked for about four years with uh, youth and children who are underprivileged and who are have at risk of gang and all of those type of things. Though Canadian gangs are kind of cute compared to like American gangs, which are scary. Um, but I find most of those kids who are diagnosed as ADHD, I don't, I don't understand. Like they were perfectly fine kids. Some of them were like able to cooperate with everybody else a hundred percent out so like I don't understand why they think that kids need to be diagnosed at such a young age it's definitely a big crisis here because a lot of these kids don't develop great personalities as soon as they're diagnosed and they just become blank walls and I guess that's what society wants from children is for them to be able to just sit and stare at a teacher but from the kids that in some days they wouldn't take their medication and even if they were a little crazy and a little high um, high energy it was good they were clearly having fun um, and I don't see how half of them needed to be on medication maybe they w were a little bit loud I don't it makes no sense to me so but there are cases where kids are they need something to help them calm them down either it's like maybe more than ADHD and maybe more compulsive that make them do more things and it's definitely some parents I think are afraid to admit that their child has something more than ADHD so they just say to diagnose it as ADHD um, which I definitely have had a few issues with and since I was working with children I've previously stopped to go back to school and um, I miss the kids I miss working with them each and every one of them. Um, the teens, some of them just, it's not even so much like having to medicate yourself for ADHD. It's more having to have a system where you're accepted for having it and it's okay and you learn in a system where they understand that ADHD kids need to learn differently and they understand things differently and they have different like ups and downs than like everybody else. So. I think it's just more society's choice is just to medicate, medicate, medicate because it'll make it okay, but they're really just making people more addicted or kids feel more alienated as they already are. So yeah.